Yes. So then, Professor, how do we begin by instilling or creating this awareness? Because you, dis you did just touch on that, that what is also lacking is the awareness that you can do more. There's more beyond this D plus grade. And over time, when you look at even the results uh, release, those of D plus and below, they always top in the, the, the list regards to the numbers. There are many compared to the C plus and above. So at what point or how do we start? Because once we realize there's a lot of focus on the top end courses. We just did mention the engineering, the law, and this tendency of if I don't do that, then there's basically nothing I've done with my life. Mm -hmm. Where do we start from? That's very right, Doreen. From, from my experience, and yes. because I've been in the education sector for many years, uh -huh. most of these A's don't even end up in Kenya. They would join Wings to Fly and other programs and they find themselves outside the country. Mm -hmm. So those ones, the ones we have had the Hulabalu about them, I have seen the media trying to track where they go. Yes. It is the D pluses and the C plus who remain with us. A few years ago, maybe in the 80s and the 70s, the village polytechnic was something that was to be looked up to. Uh, if your child uh, did not make it to the A-levels, for example, they would join the local village uh, polytechnic. You probably know the Sigalagalas and all that. Mm -hmm. And they would do masonry, they would do plumbing and a lot of other things. And these people are now big shots in the market. Mm -hmm. What surprises me is that they now don't want their own children to go back and start from well, that did. particular level. So the rain started beating us when we started seeing the village, the village polytechnic as a place for failures, mm -hmm. as a place that is ignored, a place where you dump the kids who don't do it uh, in place. But the government has come up with TVET. Mm -hmm. And what we need to start having is awareness, both to the students and to the parents, that you can actually build your way up from the TVET. Mm -hmm. So the media, the educators need to start telling the children, don't always aim to join the degree. I mm -hmm. know many people, for example, in my year when I did the, uh, my KCP, I was in the first eight for four. Mm -hmm. I know several of my friends who never went to the university and had passed and their parents said, no, go and do CPA. Mm -hmm. CPA to me is at that level. You may call it professional, mm -hmm. but it's at a tertiary level, but not at university level. Mm -hmm. They went and studied and they are making it in life. Their parents were already aware that sometimes it is better to take this child to a middle level college mm -hmm. and then they join the university a little bit later. later so do our parents know do our teachers know and when we start from that particular level and i'm glad cbc is coming up yes do our teachers know that we don't always have to push them to go to the university mm -hmm. they can start from the from the bottom and do you know that uh, doreen mm -hmm. some of those people when by the time they graduate with a diploma with a degree they have three qualifications i have a certificate mm -hmm. i have a diploma mm -hmm. and i have a degree mm -hmm. when you only have a degree <laughs> and the difference could just be one year so the awareness you usually don't see that in that in that in that format we don't see it that way Mm. The positive acclamation that you can actually make it even if you don't join the university at the onset is what we need. All of us, all of us.